One of the best things you can do for a content brand is to create a content editorial calendar and commit to creating content based on that calendar. So on this calendar, you plan anywhere from one to four quarters in advance. Most people do around one to two, where you're basically laying out all the ideas that you are going to cover for uh, the given time frame that you choose to plan for. When you're planning out your content, make sure it matches up with launches. So if you know you are promoting uh, a training course about how you can become a best-selling author, create free content around that topic a few weeks before you start the promotion. So uh, the type of content you create is going to vary based on what your promotional calendar looks like. Uh, but once you have that figured out, uh, you have all the ideas, um, the next step is to figure out what are, what's my backbone content? What is the content that is essential? Uh, and in this case for me, it's uh, committing to writing a weekly blog post where I am providing value based on uh, something that my audience wants more of. So I have this blog post in mind. I say, okay, I'm going to publish this one on this date, this one on the other date. But once you have the backbone content, it's time to think about the supporting content. So in many cases, my videos act as the supporting content for one of my blog posts. I will do the blog post outline. I will start writing the blog post. And when I see places where I can expand, that is going to be when I create a video and embed it within that blog post. And sometimes I even go back to previous blog posts, see where I can expand and add videos as the supporting content. Some people, they prefer to have video as their backbone content, the content that they spend a lot of time on. They're doing a lot of research on. Uh, they're really investing a lot of time to making this great content. And you can use a blog post as a supporting content that you can mention in the video. So uh, for instance, if I'm doing a really long video and I think of a blog post that adds more value, I'm going to mention that blog post and include it in the description. So with an editorial calendar, you are clear on uh, when am I supposed to be producing this backbone content, this main content, but you also want to be clear on when do I produce the supporting content that is going to uh, strengthen the value of the backbone content that is essential for my content brand. And then you create all that supporting content before the backbone content comes out. And once you have the content out, of the supporting content and the backbone content. It all comes down to now is you promoting it on social media, telling at least five people uh, that you published uh, this new video or uh, this new blog post, getting a lot of people to share that content. If you had someone uh, on your podcast as a guest and in interview, tell that person that uh, the episode video or blog post just came out. So uh, once you figure out how you are going to create the content, the schedule that you are going to follow with that backbone and supporting content, and you have the schedule for what do I do on the day it comes out, what do I do on the week it comes out, am I tweeting, am I doing a Facebook Live, am I using Instagram, am I using Pinterest, how am I using all these platforms, that is when you start to develop a content editorial calendar that makes a really big difference for your brand.